There's it front. Alpha one, this is Alpha two. We have two AI north uh, northwest. Probably that just two. Just two that we can see, maybe more. Do you guys see any more than two? All right, if they haven't seen you, we'll keep pushing up. If they're on any more, we'll neutralize them and move on. Copy that. Let's move forward slowly, guys. Only myself here, which is weird. You had it in a capsule. Oh, right? Wait, what? Oh, don't get close. Where's the magic APC closer. gone? It doesn't. You know, right. that happens if Thorin has to sneeze. Oh, oh look at him! One more three. Yeah, he did drop an APC on himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a special the kind of message be if Armin uh, was killed by an APC or something. Oh, hey! No, you get a message if he's killed by a friendly. Oh, a, yeah, a player. APC is not a player or an AI friendly. Fuck. Work. Is it always such a hassle? Okay. Now, apologies for taking that long on setting up a bloody vehicle. How many were present on last uh, Thursday's training? 15 or 16 people, I think. Well, thank you, Horror yep. Fast. 16. No problem. How many of you were present uh, on uh, the training? So, uh, uh, actually, who wasn't present on the training? I wasn't even in the group on the last training. Yeah, that's kind of good. So, this should be uh, quite a lot of new experiences for you. Basically, what we're gonna do next is I will be park, will be on the vehicle driver's seat and giving orders as if I were sla uh, the platoon leader and the vehicle commander. What and we will driving. do is uh, practice some basic contact drills, and instead of uh, the dr vehicle going m madly in front of you like on last Thursday's training, the vehicle will attempt to be a bit more realistic in most fashions. In this sense, uh, a bit later on, after we've finished some of the dry dry runs. We will proceed to doing the improvised mission I've already conjured up in my uh, vast consciousness. We will act as a armored recon element for our armored combat brigade on the western flank as our armored combat brigade is moving from north south to east along the MSR. Our objectives will be to locate enemies, etc., mark them on the map, engage targets of opportunities. The vehicle itself will be used lim only in limited fashion, but still, I'm gonna make an AO large enough that forces us to move around. Now, let's start with the dry runs. What did we do last week? We practiced uh, basically giving that the vehicle commanders give you basic dismounting orders like. Uh, alpha, prepare to dis prepare to dismount, etc. Alpha, form a line, front left, dismount, dismount. And you would run out of the vehicle, get on the front left or front right side of the vehicle and form a line. The idea here is that the crew always sees a bit better than you do before you dismount, naturally. You don't see outside of that tin can, do you? That's the gist of it. If we had more people, this would be a bit more feasible. I will have to micromanage far too much for my taste. What else? I think I have a document that helps me remembering what we discussed last week. We can get up to speed. We did cover base um, mounting up drills in this form of just preparing to mount up, setting a perimeter. Yeah. Get into vehicle to a suitable location first. Movement counter, practicing contact rail mount up procedure. Yeah, yeah. Platoon, prepare to mount up. Basically, tells uh, the platoon leader's intent is that we are going to mount up. You're going to move towards your vehicle, set up a perimeter, and then mount up. Just remember that uh, the vehicle can't has trouble seeing you. The driver doesn't see you, so being behind a vehicle, whatever it is, is not very a good idea, especially prior to just mounting up or anything like that. Just don't stand behind an armored fighting vehicle if you don't have to, unless, of course, specified otherwise. If there's a communication between the uh, party team leader 
section leader or uh, and the uh, tech commander. Now, let's get sorted out. Who's the Gaxman is uh, section leader one, and who's uh, section Security. sergeant? Here. Excellent. Me. So <laughs> we're gonna do some uh, dry runs on terrain close by. We'll give Let's basic uh, dismount orders, and uh, if I had a bit more time, I would make it a bit more interesting. There would be targets to shoot at, but we will do some dry runs first. All right. Uh, I didn't understand what he said. Me neither. Platoon, prepare to mount up. Ah. Oh. I can always yell if you like. Okay, let's just go there. So prepare means we set up some separate perimeter. We're up to take the perimeter. We're going west now. Mount up, mount up. Mount up. Go, go, go. Monoxide gas. That was just what I was think uh, thinking. Come on, Ed. You can do it. What's the letting me go into the thing? Alpha 2 then. Alpha section's mounted up. Copy. Prepare the magic. Plot 2, move to Whiskey Bubble 1. Out. Oh. Coincidentally, I don't see Whiskey Bubble 1. Oh, I definitely don't like the sign next to me. <laughs> Monoxide gas could be anything though. If it's nitrogen <laughs> oxide, it's not such a big issue. Just if you smell anything, if you smell anything yeah. funny, let us know. Carbon monoxide on the other side, you will. But yes. if I pass out, you will know why. We'll just let you in here and go out. Sure thing. To prepare to dismount. Preparing to dismount. Yes, prepare to dismount. <laughs> Alpha section, form a line, front left side of the vehicle, dismount, dismount. Dismount. Two take close to the vehicle, one go further north. Copy. More other two take close to the vehicle. Just follow me, which not combat pace. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, guys, we'll follow them out and call them. Speak to the local space. We're sticking to the right hand side of the road. Thorin's run off to deploy some uh, enemies to fight. 
<laughs> or himself as he was last mission. Perfect contact, contact front. Cold. Front. 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 Still holding position. Two, you clear of contact, push up the road. Copy that. Right guys, push it up slowly. Combat pace. Oh. Stay in wedge please. All I'm saying is I called it. Number two, push up to and clear the metal shed to the north northwest. Copy that. Right guys, follow me, we need to clear that compound. I knew it didn't get him. It's gonna be fun. Somebody get here. I got the. When I, I the say so, open the door. I'm ready. Okay, open. Oh, Building clear. Yep. There's over two. Building is clear. Movement to the uh, north northeast. Can't see what it is. Copy that, Fox One. We've been moving the flag like out. A vehicle over. I have no eyes. Yeah, oh yeah, vehicle. Yeah, that's an enemy vehicle. Open fire. Don't waste it. The vehicle stopped. Yeah, that's not kind of equipment. The vehicle's still, I can see it through the bushes. Uh, okay. vehicle lost to a wheel. Yeah. Oh well, we hit it. Okay, let's push up where we're off to. Two, keep pushing up. Copy, two pushing. Contacts north. Yes. I Ooh. think we're we go. Right from here, not use this as a base of fire. Two, take the 
the western route. Can you cover the west of the crossroad? Okay, let's take some cover between those trees and cover the west. Staying with wedge formation? Uh, no. Just take cover and watch the west. If you don't sit so close to behind the vehicle. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice. Two mounts up first. Copy. Come out up. I'm saying is I called that first engagement. Other sector is mounted up, ready to move. Copy. Anyone hit medical? I'm all good. I think everyone's fine. Happy days. Well, now I'm sitting next to the monoxide gas. Try to take two of them sitting there before. What's the seat in the middle? <laughs> it's the toilet. It's the ninth, guys. I think it's for the uh, <coughs> squad leader. <laughs> it's reality. But you know, or, you, you know, it could be a footrest. Can't choose the spot. Yes. Can see. What was that? could move around and thoroughly break everything if you wanted to. I think that's just, I think just part of being in the vehicle. He's mounted on the left side of the vehicle. Go, go, go. Contact the bar in front. I'm almost at a base of fire to. See, you got contacts on the north east side of the barn outside. Alpha 2, push inside that barn. Barn clear. What was that about those contacts? They yeah, said North Face, that's all I heard. Oh, stop shooting the dead bodies. I'm sure they're dead. Well, he's dead now. Double tap. Oh, but if you switch your weapon and then some real contacts uh, come up, 
You have a problem. <laughs> Let's clear the last of buildings. Yeah, shoot him with the MJ. Yeah, okay. that's clear. And that barn. One red is moving. Right, clear. Okay, yeah, clear. Two, status. Um, two, we just cleared the complete compound. No more alive enemies here. Copy that, too. Four map uh, on it, man. Uh, you heard it, man? I think. No, okay, four map on it, man. One, basically. Uh, wait, there he is, hitman. <laughs> man. I thought I'm starting to get a bit more fired up for this journey. Now, what we just did there was that I was attempting to simulate the idea that we were, got contact whilst on the march. Uh, the vehicle commander naturally uh, attempted to obscure the enemy, that's why there was smoke, and then return fire with everything he got. Now, because this is training and I'm alone, I did not reverse quite a lot uh, out of the enemy kill zone or kill box. If we had a bit more vehicles, let's say we had a standard 2-3 to three armor fighting vehicles filled with uh, angry tier 1 operators like your, you fine gentlemen, there would be far more options for us to deal with this threat in this position for example. Maybe this area was more fortified, more enemies maybe at the tree lines. We could have smoked our position, the enemy might have failed in their first salvo, they might have been surprised by the uh, appearance of the vehicles, maybe missed with their AT, who knows. This battle when the fr front vehicle makes contact by uh, becoming a burning wreck or uh, by detecting the enemy. Some other tactics that are part of mechanized warfare is that sometimes you might bound mount it over open terrain or just simply moving faster along the route and you and the guys on the back seat will be a bit more bored for a moment but you can cover a lot of terrain. Better tracks than boots, right? Yeah. yeah. Actually of course in the game this does not translate, it's translate, you, translate into you walking in mud but uh, in reality it's always better to be <laughs> tracked than, uh, than on your boots. As I said, there would have been far more tactical stuff to practice uh, if we had more people, more vehicles to accompany this training. Front vehicle makes contacts, attempt to uh, consolidate, maintain contact with the enemy. The second vehicle would dismount, take the left flank. Third vehicle could flank further from the right or maybe reinforce the uh, point team. And then, because we armored, armored warfare is very simple, you flank the enemy. We put mortars on him as quickly as possible, etc, etc. And if you really don't know what to do, you know, besides flanking thing, you put a dick on your forehead, put the platoon in a wide line, put every every gun you got against the enemy and hope that you have better guns than he does. Quick thinking, quick movement is part of mechanized warfare. Utilizing the engine and the capability of us not being as heavily loaded, we don't really worry about fatigue at the moment, but real mechanized infantry are lighter on their gear loadouts. They don't have to carry 11 magazines all times because the home right over there is with you all the time. It carries a lot of equipment with you. Now, we will proceed more closer to the area where we'll practice the next bit, which is a bit ad hoc because we are a bit low on uh, numbers. Uh, I will explain further on site of the crime. Prepare for a teleport. Wee. me up, Scotty. <sighs> yeah, Scotty is mad. Oh. Scotty Damn. does not want to teleport at all. He wants us to uh, stay here. Okay, teleporting three, two, one. Wee. <coughs> what? Ah, welcome gentlemen to Bornholm. Allow me to have two to three minutes to set up this operation. That includes me spawning a vehicle and you find gents uh, wanking off in the next two minutes. <laughs> Apologies for this. I Seriously, the problem is that every time I make a mission for the training, 
there's either too many people or too low amount of people and if I make it too uh, too strict uh, it usually doesn't work and I had an entrance exam today so I really didn't know if I can actually make it today at all had some fucking interviews which were interesting oh, but still strange it's totally fine for me let's just play I spy with my little eye I will begin <laughs> I spy with my little eye something green is it Trey? Damn it! <laughs> How could you know? Lucky guess. Your turn. <laughs> now I spy with my eye something that begins with A and then P and then C. <laughs> oh, it's. 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 Ah, I'm close, I'm close. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's ah, a tank. It's a tank. Maybe. Yes, it's it is. 90. Apparently. It's anti anti personnel too. In some kind. But I'm not in the mood to get wet. <laughs> oh, wait, it isn't actually very late, it's just. well, thunderstorm. Yeah. So gather around, children. That's just an excuse to use this word. Mm, probably. So. So sorry. The situation is as follows. Our um, armored combat brigade is moving on our on our east along the blue arrows, basically the Amasars. The red lines are the approximate area where the enemy lines start. That is what we do know. However, the area to our west is a great unknown. And the battalion commander has tasked the fifth rangers with our nice little vehicles over here on a reconnaissance on the western area our task and I emphasize on this is reconnaissance and dealing with light threats if we are able we are to scout the areas make sure there are no EI in the vicinity of the roads we are not gonna scour through the forest our task is to make sure some of the paths the roads that can be used later on in this operation are safe and clear of anti-tank mines and larger obstacles. There will be walking, but there will also be us moving from one location to the other. In his infinite wisdom, the company commander has placed me as the platoon leader, and uh, as we are wholly absent of due to a little bit of a sickness in the tummy for certain individuals, we are very limited in numbers. Platoon Axo has a Ebola virus and uh, the rest of the guys don't feel up to the task for today. And the vehicle crew too. And the vehicle crew so are fornicating somewhere in the forest, just like they always do. <laughs> now. So you got it. Listen up. That was the situation, our mission, and that was the mission. Our execu how we will execute this is as follows. We will use the vehicle to move over larger areas, larger distances. We will scout through areas of our importance, which are usually marked on the map. The roads and the larger buildings, etc. are what we are clearing, making sure if there are any enemies. If we are under contact, standard procedure is to break contact by using high volumes of fire. This means detection. you detect an enemy, make sure the direction of it. Use immense amount of firepower and bound away from the contact. We are not to stay on a prolonged engagement. The enemy is sure to bring reinforcements if we do. Naturally, they don't react too much on a patrol, but if we pretend to be something larger than we are, they are sure to allocate resources to make sure we don't push through this area. As said, we don't know where the enemy really is in this ter terrain. They have patrols over the area, we have patrols in, in the southern parts of the area, and we're attempting to figure out where they have strongholds or enemy or or uh, fortifications or units. Mark mark stuff on the map during the mission. Now, any questions? Is this too complicated? This too too complicated. There might not be that much shooting at points, but I'm sure we can manage. Sounds alright. Yeah. Should be fine. Alright. Gents, let's mount up. Let's mount up then. Woo! Mounting! Going for a ride. Lock the doors and close the back. We're going for a ride.
Yeah, Alpha 2 is mounted up. All in? Yep. Alpha section is more stuff, we'll need to roll. Copy that. Well, thanks for the big green arrow in case we weren't sure. Hey, I was trying to create at least some sort of uh, idea that I made thought into this. Everyone, if you've got a moment, you can use the interaction menu to copy Thorin's map. Because otherwise you won't see some of the lines. Not that there are many. In fact, there's like three. But it's worth knowing that lines can... are only um, passed on if you interact with them and copy the map. Or if they're made in Kyrie we should start. That too. At least the uh, green arrow is informative. Remember guys, we're not pursuing any of our contacts. Two take the south side of the vehicle, one will take the north. Copy. Thank you. Save yourself if you put them on. Look at all those trees. Yeah, but where's the forest? Okay, I'll fill it. We're proceeding to Crossroad Tango, roughly along the road. Vehicle will remain here. Uh, in reality, this is the point where the crew members would spend two minutes to uh, camouflage it and join us on our upcoming mission. So, Alpha, take us out. We're clearing along the road. Take it slow, both sides of the road, preferably if you can. We'll take it slow. It manages with you. All right. Right, Alpha 2, you'll take the north side of the road, so cross now. Keep your distance from the road itself, 5 to 10 meters, one will take the south side. When we, get, when we approach where the road turns southwest, we'll have to change strategy because the gully will separate the teams too much. Oh, that's not good. What's going on? Uh, our squad lead. Alpha 2 on Thorin. <laughs> Looks like he stood trying to talk to. You can't hear him anymore. Who's this? Merc. Thorin is leading you now. God damn it. They've, they've crossed the road. What the fuck? What are we doing? Come on, Merc. Which members are oh. present? Blue team? Alright, let's uh, out. Follow the road to combat pace west. Everyone with squad blade. Alright. We'll just move along with a column. Unlike their members on the left side, weapons lowered. Let's keep the pace steady. Column formation. Alright, guys, lower your weapons. There we go, he's gone. There you go, he's had a stroke. Yeah. He accidentally stumbled onto uh, the crew, the tank crew members fornicating in the woods and he had a heart attack from it. One is gonna sweep the belly. That sounds fairly logical to Copy. me. Copy. Blue team be on the right side now. 
offline. A1, Hitman. Let's move up. What's this? Is section lead. Is that traffic over? Let's approach the Crusher Tango. We will attempt to provide some overwatch. You move up to the crossroad. Make sure there are no uh, major obstacles or EI at the vicinity. Over. One copies. Appalade. Got some barbed wire just north of the crossroad. Eh, never mind then. We're only like 45 minutes into the mission. Well, train. Intel suggests there should be some sort of a facility down south of the road. Two set of right security then. down that way. Facing west. This would be the point I'd call the vehicle crew members who are tailing, maybe tailing the platoon would move back towards the vehicle. So I'm just gonna simulate that by teleporting. Alpha secure this crossroad. Merc, just be careful when he comes on the road. Yeah, I'll be careful. I don't want to see your, I don't see your body like pressed into the floor. Anything, Venturi? See anything? Here he is. Oh, that's our APC. Okay, then. Hopefully, you don't hit that. that the crossroad tango is secure as was suspected earlier we will uh, proceed west along the road uh, this is gonna take it the whole morning if we don't uh, speed up the process we will mount up and move closer to uh, road foxtrot if we don't make contact we will establish more from that location towards crossroad x-ray we'll secure the southern flank after uh, x-ray Get the platoon mounted up. Alright, guys, make your way around. Bob, wire. We're mounting up in a bit. Goes by the, via the boom gate's probably fastest. <coughs> you can come back now, Ventura. Alright, alpha section, let's mount up. When you're a medic in the future, try not to be, try to be that one the first in the vehicle, I suppose the last. Copy that. Just if we're in procedure from now on, it'll be 
read it first, followed by everyone else. Woo! Oh, I seem to remember last time um, when we did last training, uh, artillery was a problem, and having a medic last person in wasn't very good. <laughs> yeah. Our uh, sector's mounted up, ready to roll. Really. If anyone's not familiar with the navi pad, you open it with the home key, you hit home again to bring it center of screen, then you can use your mouse to manipulate it. For those who aren't team leads, I recommend leaving it on the compass setting for the easiest way to get a bearing. Okay, alpha section, uh, dismount on the right side of the vehicle. Two stick closer to the vehicle, one will spread out further. Alpha start pushing uh, down the road towards uh, Road Foxtrot. Right, one will form a diamond, moving out down the road. Two, we've got parallel with us. Yeah, we're just going to wet, guys. Yeah. I suppose if. Thorin's not leading us currently, I don't know who that leads us, 2nd in command. 2nd in command is your weapon specialist. Then that will be you, Merc. No, he's the AR. The assistant, sorry. The oh, assistant. yeah, sorry, that's why. Right. right, that's me then. The new guy is in lead. I've got weapon specialist. That'll be why then. Section reporting soft contact with empty enemy troop transport at Road Fox Truck. Right, two head to the rocks to the west, secure the road to the west. One, let's have a look north. Right, come on, let's go take. Just cross over the road. Let's take it with a combat base. Driving off to no man's land was potential. Play guys. Mark Venturi, is it clear? Not anything. Alright, let's do what command says then, let's keep heading northwest. Go in wedge formation. Don't need to worry about combat pace, I don't think though. Copy that. Patrolling columns down the roads, either side. Right, there you go, column then. Alpha, let's uh, head towards the crossroad as planned towards the X-ray and uh, 
see if we can find anything over there. Vehicle is placed in air, air raid shelter close to the road fox trot holder. Nice guys. Onwards. Alright, relax a bit. Uh, Pico just up and died. Move it front. Alpha one, this is Alpha two. We have two AI north uh, northwest. Copy that. Just the two. Just two that we can see. Maybe more. Do you guys see any more than two? All right. If they haven't seen you, we'll keep pushing up. If there aren't any more, we'll neutralise them and move on. Copy that. Let's move forward slowly, guys. Alpha 1, this is Alpha 2, enemy move in there fast. Take them out. Right. Engage, guys. Moving it, so we can get eyes, guys. Oh, it's actually down. Oh, wait. Those are heavy contacts. To the north. Two suppressive fire to the northwest. One for better bound backwards. North and northwest, I see him. Just put some uh, suppression fire on there. Pounding away from the contacts. Move, move, move. One is set, two move. Right, so let's move. Carry move back. can see the enemy, keep up the volume of fire. Mark, we're going. The idea here is that we give them the impression we're a larger force than we really are. Yeah, Venturi held. Venturi held that. Two is set, one move. Suppress the fire, guys. One's gonna bounce to the rocks. Copy that. Giving them a sec to it back. Two prepared to uh, mount up. Right, we're mounting up, guys. Let's go. Matt, come on, we're mounting up. Straight in, guys, straight in. Alpha, mount up, mount up. Two, mount up, 
Guy mark. Guy mark in, yeah. Two's mounted up. Two's mounted. Yeah, yeah. I just so in the firefight I didn't see much point in getting a medic to come stop and put us in a line of fire. Oh. Yeah, you can sort your own sort your own equipment. Yeah, oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna. But yeah, no, you it's probably the right call. As always it would be nice if we were more people. Uh, it would be easier just to simulate the idea that there's a crew sentence to uh this is two gents. We'd have two more people before we started to be fair. Does Alt T not work? I have no idea. Wait, did he properly leave though or not? His PC froze so he must have forced quit. Yeah. Alright, he's here. Yeah, it's his next who's, bird, he needs to get in. Who's wearing night vision? Yes. Put your earplugs in too if you haven't. Yeah, sorry for that. You right. missed a firefight, Pico. Oh no. A very brief one. Yes. In the right. case of a s sudden dismount. Alright, gentlemen, uh, dismount for the vehicle, let's have a li little chat. Sorry, let's go back to. There comes our lead again. <laughs> Glorious leader. Yeah. Sexy charging. So, gen gentlemen, uh, as part of yes. almost all recon 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 yeah. recon operations, uh, when you get caught up, you decided to engage instead of just relaying information. That was fine, don't worry about that. Um, when you are engaged by an enemy and you are on a, re a re recon patrol, and especially at the type where you are not attempting to destroy the enemy by moving into contact or anything like that, uh, use massive volumes of fire, spend magazines to get out of a tight spot. This wasn't a really tight spot. I'm sorry terrain can make it difficult for the AI to shoot at you, but when they get close they will kill you. Uh, the gist of this idea here, especially in armored recon, is you use massive volumes of fire. You have already when you have found the enemy, the approximate location of the enemy, your job is more than adequately fulfilled. Now the company leader has an idea where the enemy roughly is. You might have only made contact with the forward patrol or anything like that. But this was a crossroad and there was a there were EI presence standing still, they were really guarding the crossroad, maybe military police guiding uh, assets moving from south to north, who knows. Naturally, in our missions, this is not a uh, very implied, basically, that that type of uh, level exists somewhere there. But, you know, it makes missions more interesting when there is actually a reason for stuff. And the reason here is that the uh, we wanted to know if there was anything on that particular location where there were infantry. Uh, conclusion, the enemy is using that uh, that road to something. So, our next task is to pu push through Lima to Oscar and see if there is anything in that area or not. You kind of assume so. If they're at X-Ray, they presumably will be at Oscar as well. Yeah, we want to dis yeah. uh, establish if there is any fortifications or maybe something heavier in the area. If you're able, set up an OP and start looking at the road, see if there's something moving past it, etc, etc, etc. This is a recon operation. We're pretty heavy on manpower for that particular objective, but uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, sorry? Yeah. I got one thing uh, I just experienced. Uh, we had some, uh, we had open fire and I had some squad mates move, uh, crossing in the line of fire uh, without saying anything. Uh, I guess I even hit uh, someone one time. <laughs> you had somebody moving over your line of fire. 
Yeah. Yeah. So Shack Tech Hut has been uh, invented. Don't move in front of your gen your friendly. Pass them from behind if you need to. God, I wish we had more people. Another trainer wouldn't hurt. <laughs> All right. All right, gents. Let's mount up. Anyone missing? Alpha 2's mounted. Is that 8 people or was, do we not have 8? No, 7 because our squad leader's gone. So. Oh, yeah. Still connecting. Still, <laughs> oh, he's still connecting, okay. Alright, Alpha's mounted up as we are. All of us that are here. I thought he, I thought he reconnected. He's already here for some reason. side of the vehicle, line, start pushing towards the crossroad, Lima, dismount, dismount. Alright, two, take the left, left end of the uh, line. Alright, let's go, combat pace guns up. Alpha 1, this Alpha 2, Boris Sinclair. Got a sticking column, guys. To form a line, hold in position, but we'll, we'll push into contact. Right. Let's form a line, guys. Form a line. Alright, let's move. Combat pace. To hold. Thank you. 
Let's see if someone comes and gets me soon. Should we? As soon as I am locked out on the floor. Um, we have a man down. There we go. Right, one and two, switch to diamond formations. We're gonna keep pushing along the road. This is uh, Alpha Two. We got a one man down. We need a medic. Copy that too. Ed, can you go to them? So if you can't tell what's going on right now, I'm down, so is the platoon medic. Eco sky bad, fall back to me. Which means that none of us can get revived, we just have to wait till we wake up again. Because the medic's the only one who carries epinephrine, unless there's some in the APC, which I'm not aware of. But we're going to find out. Uh, America, keep uh, watching your sector. Well. Let's see what Sventura is going to do. Right, let's see what I'm going to do. Get your wounded man into the vehicle. Oh god, I'm going to get dragged now. It's never going to drag me and put me in the vehicle. Oh, sure. I suppose that's a fair enough trade off. Being dead. And uh, now I'm being dragged. You can see from the tiny bit of the Oh, wait, wait, so there's a. Oh, I'm being carried. Anyways. Yeah, oh, Torofed's connecting again. Yep, I'm in the vehicle now, as you can see on the right. I'm in the M113A3 with Thor uh, Thorin, or Thororin, whichever you want to call him. I'm assuming that medic will get in the same time once he's been carried. Alright, everyone That's else mount up. Okay, so we're else getting in there. Yeah, it's just me and Dread down. No, oh, Red's gone. Two, everyone alive in. Is everyone from Alpha 2 in? Looks like. Oh, uh, yeah. Alpha section is wounded. Wounded loaded up. Everyone ready to go. Just gonna casually browse my phone while I wait. Because I have nothing better to do with my life. So while it's being dead. Died and respawned and it's been somehow removed from the team, which is a nuisance. So you need to teleport in some way. You can rejoin your team, right? Yeah, he can. Dermakin.com. Well, it made all wrinkles in 90 seconds. Look 20 years younger in minutes, facelift in the bottom. Because I really wanted to read that email. Oh, shit, Dread's dead. Um. So, yeah, we just have a corpse hanging about. And, uh... So, everybody, respawn. Respawn. Everyone out for now. They tell me to respawn? Or they? Hello! Dread, did you go down too? Dread? Oh yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. Just say, uh, just had to be you, didn't it? Yeah, I first round went straight through my head, I think. No, I got knocked down and then pinged. 
Yeah, yeah. that's the way it goes. Well, let's find being squad leader while it lasted. T1 exfiltration complete. <laughs> let's call so. it exfiltration. Okay, let's recap so we, what we just did. Uh, we Not messed we up, so we commit seppuku. <laughs> Basically, yes. we made contact with an enemy earlier, and we uh, scouted on the southern flank. But we got not we are our some of our men got knocked out with along with the medic, so we pulled out of the AO. That's the gist of it. But we did gather some vital intelligence for the competent commander, which is always nice. We kind of, sort of, accomplished part of our mission. Here it is. I think. I'm back. <laughs> He's also rather bending. It was no. worth my death. You would have been fine. Our, uh, fairly, this terrain is very difficult for vehicles, which is why I would like to have a real training with them. Where the vehicle crew members get to practice as well. Yeah. Uh, my, most of you might have noticed it was very slow training today, or basically for you, not that much shooting as normally. Not too much I think we should have training in the form of a race. <laughs> what kind of vehicles do you suggest? I don't know, actually. Go karts. Or just go on public and destroy things. Yeah. Because there is not that much can teach on this subject unprepared. I was not really expecting it would be this low in numbers. I hoped it would have at least the crew so I could at least be a platoon leader and then give orders. So today's pra idea was to practice more mechanized or do helo insertion extraction which would have required a pilot or two. Regretfully I'm not that good of a pilot so and mm, flying and organizing the training is not something that's gonna happen. Fuck there we go. Again. <laughs> So, I'm just going to call it a night for today. Uh, thank you for participating. What we did try to practice here was operating with the vehicle. Not that much because there's, well, me alone in the, in the vehicle's crew spot is not very good practice for the vehicle crew, which is not present. I, t I think it was beneficial since we lacked most of our usual team leaders. Torofa had got a brief turn at leading for um, shit happened. Yeah. I ended up being Don't squad leader my first training, so. Thursday trainings are really about sexual leaders getting experience on moving in and operating in different circumstances, so don't be shy on becoming section sergeants on Thursdays. I highly encourage mm. it. Yes. Good, good time fact, to practice. You should, you, should, um, you should make me stop doing it and uh, do it yourselves. Because I do it all the time. And I'm not getting any better, so someone else should probably do it. I think you're getting better. Yeah, I was being modest. <laughs> I'm obviously the best. So. It it does it depends it depends on my mood. Sometimes I'm better than other times. Depends on your time of the month, alright? Yeah, it's that. Oh god. Oh dear. Awesome. This is not good. Sit down and accept it. Run away! Run away! Can you just hit him with the mortar? He's running away. What is no running! Slug you. <laughs> no running or you will slip and fall. <laughs> hey! Everyone kill Mark. Shoot his knees! It was worth it. Foremost, I'd like to apologize for the slow training. Low numbers tend to make the trainings less interesting. You what we could have practiced... Logistics. We could have practiced a bit more, could have been mount, but I'm no expert at it. Uh, and I did want to see in action on how some of this stuff we practice would actually work in a mission or in a training yeah. environment. And as always, it would be beneficial to have somebody else doing uh, platoon leader and uh, mission making. Thank you for participating, still allowing this to be somewhat interesting training for at least for me. Thank you, oh, I that. Yes, sir. Thank you. You can't predict Thursdays. No, you can't. Right, he wants to come public. 
I will, yes. But yes, let's go. I have to eat. So there will be a gap. Okay. Uh,